Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe um, with the um, whole coronavirus um, going on. I really hope you and your family are safe and um, yeah, hopefully you got some time to draw right now and you can just spend some time on things you love. Um, I will show you quickly how I draw a white fur. I am working um, on Kiba, which is an Australian Shepherd. He has a really complicated fur with a lot of colors. Um, and right now I'm doing the um, color blocking. I like to do it with a very complicated fur where there are a lot of colors in to make sure that I um, put the details in the right place and that the dark parts on the right place. So I pay attention to the reference photo a lot. I make sure everything is in the right place. As you can see, I still um, put my strokes in the right direction. I uh, look where the hairs are going, the direction the hairs are going in, because it's still easier. And then I go in with a um, bra, uh, with a gray, and then I smudge it out with a blending stamp. And then I go over it again with some um, gray, because the colors, the transition isn't uh, as fluent as I wanted, so I just go over, go a little bit over the uh, brown, and then I smudge it out again. You see, I can spend quite a lot of time on this because I like it when it's when the transitions are fluent and it just gives a nicer look. These base layers really help me to visualize what it will become and once they are done I can easier see where the shadows will be, etc. And it just helps for me personally to see it. It gives the drawing like it looks like I've got I made a lot of process really quickly, so I enjoy that. Now I'm going on over it with a white pencil. I made sure the point is really sharp and I just draw the hairs. This paper isn't quite a paper I like. Oh, here I show you how I um, clean my blending stump. I just have an, uh, a needle eraser from Apple Castle and I just play a little bit with it. I, I roll it over a bit, I put it in there and I just yeah, play a little bit with it till it's clean. <laughs> kind of like it's like yeah you know it's like little child's playing with their play-doh and then I rub it a bit over my paper this is a part that I will cut up eventually because the paper is too big and I just roll it over a bit there because my blending stems get um, dirt very soon so and I haven't found a better way to clean them I don't know how you're supposed to do it. But anyway, I was saying I made sure my point of my pencils are really sharp, especially the pencils where I will put the details with. I use a, a knife and um yeah a knife. I will show you in the in, an, in another video how I do it because it's quite interesting and I think a lot of people have trouble with it. And then all I do is just draw the hairs the i pay attention to the direction of the hairs a lot uh, of course so the brown hairs are on top over the white hairs and then again there are white hairs on top of the brown hairs and that's something I, that's something important you have to remember you see i follow that direction as well i start with the white which is the furthest away and then I go over that with my brown because the brown lays on top of that. And then I come up to the eye with, uh, to the white, which is the closest to the eye. This is the easiest way to explain for me. And then I go over the brown again. As you just saw, I am using um, lots of blue as well in this portrait. Um, especially in white fur, there is much more blue than you expect at first sight.
So you see, this um, this takes a while just to draw the white hairs, go back and draw a bit of the brown hairs, uh, draw a bit of white hairs, and I just like to go back and yeah, you have to add a lot of layers. I'm placing my hand in a very unnatural position right here just so that you could see what I am doing. So here I am going on top of it with a bit of um, blue. So you see it might look strange if you look at the close up. But when you see the whole picture and at the end when everything is done, it won't look weird. So I just suggest that you do a part and then you just, yeah, you you won't be completely happy with it probably because it's a little part and you're going, you don't get to see the whole image. But I just suggest like leave it um, when you feel like you've done enough and then go back at the end. I often go back to pay to our places at the end but some but most of the time it isn't even necessary and just yeah in the whole drawing it just fits and it isn't necessary anymore so um as you can see i left this piece um above the eye a bit and i went to another piece and now i'm coming back to it yeah it needs more um, attention and there aren't as much details as I'd like and the eye isn't sending out. So I'm just going to add highlights and make sure that there are some dark parts as well. Yeah with this drawing I'm jumping over the whole drawing I'm doing a little bit uh, of drawing there a little bit there and I like to do it, but when the piece is very, uh, it's very complicated, complicated because it keeps my mind awake to go to a new uh, part every single, every single time. Because I have to adjust, adjust. Um, I have to check the direction the hairs are going in, and it really makes me pay attention to the details. Because otherwise, it just gets like you do it automatically and. You can't see very good what I'm doing here because the um, blood mine paper is laying on top of it. But as you can see, this is a um, part where there is a bit of a shadow. It's a bit darker. So I'm using dark green. I um, In white for dark green really helps. Um, with white fur, I like to use... Um, I like to use um, blue for the highlights and green i normally don't really use green but because he has brown fur in brown fur i like to use green tones and here there's a bit of brown for a bit of white fur so i use the green The paper has a lot of texture. It's not my favorite kind of paper. Um, it is Clairefontaine Pastelma, which is a paper I normally absolutely love. I think it's such a great paper. It can get a lot of layers. It has the right texture. Not really textured because at the end you don't see the texture of the paper anymore. But here, and this is a brown paper in color. Yes, it is brown. Um, and I feel like with the darker... Um, the darker colors of paper, they te they have more texture, so it's harder to do not see the texture after the drawing is finished. So it's hard to draw single and as thin lines because of the texture. That's why I like to go over it a lot with my blending stamp.
to smooth everything a bit out and then I go over it to make details again. That's also why I like to use um, a base layer in this piece because it takes away a bit of the texture as well. So in the shadowy part I am using my um, I am using some earth tones such as this color you just saw it's a yellowy tone. Oops, sorry, touched my camera, zoomed a little bit in. So here you can see it better. I am really just drawing hairs. I'm not I'm not drawing every single hair as it is on the photo. Once I've blocked in my colors, I am a bit more free to draw my hairs and I just draw them as I feel. I just draw a little bit randomly. But I always make sure that the, um, that the direction is right. I think I said it too much already. I'm sorry for the light. It's a lot of sun, which makes it hard. You can see I um, draw the white hairs, but there is too much texture, so I blend them all together and then I go over it again and I just keep repeating that till there isn't as much texture. I am using this yellow to make it uh, less white because I like to use my white um, as the fur is really white, white but only white can make it look too flat so I am, I am using other colors such as blue and um, the yellow to give the color some depth. So I'm basically um, repeating all the steps I just described and I just keep repeating them till I am happy with the result. When you're trying to work realistic, the one of the most important thing, things you need to have is patience. You don't want to watch the drawing because you will see it at the end. You just have to yeah, work calmly on the drawing. Take your time for things. And when you're going too quickly or you're bored, just remember your goal. Because it really helps me. There are so many points where I just want to stop because it gets boring or just takes too much time. But then I just, I remember my goal and I remember that I just want to become better and I want to make my art more realistic. I want to, to make the dog um, as recognizable as possible and that really helps me. So here I, you saw me using some um, some dark blue in the shadows. 
blue tones are are my uh, go to with um with white fur I'm sorry for all my pencils on the bottom of the um, video. I just like to keep them in my hands while drawing because it's easy to take the pencil I need when I uh, lay them, on, lay them um, on my desk. It's such a mess and I can't find the right pencil and I'm just like spending a lot of time searching the right pencil. So how I uh, draw my fur is basically I with white fur this um, different but with my um, dark fur I like to start with the lightest color then I go back with the darker color. I will make a dark underlayer and then I will go over it with my light color then I will go back with the dark color and I will draw on some places and that must create the shadows between the hairs so I just so I'm switching place again and this is my um eraser pencil from uh, Faber Castell. I really love it in my pet portraits to for little details and for the outlines and here you see um, in my previous video you saw me using a grid and right now I'm going to erase it so it's easy with this pencil because most of the rubbers are too thick and here I can just erase the lines of the grid easily without uh, touching the drawing. The... I don't know what it's called but they left some eraser on the Just paper on them on which were places and then I go back with a lighter color to make touch it and some highlights. Wrap it. In this piece I even it's kind of now you give some Doing um, it on really black small pieces on the but dark colors on because um, I don't have a really papers, really dark brown. I haven't found it yet because of so I'm mixing of up some uh, a dark brown with some black to get the dark. Sometimes the a real a dark small brush, brown I want to get. And I go over it, or just with my fingers if it is a large, if it is a larger uh, place such as here. When you're uh, drawing the edge, it is very important to not color inside lines because um, an animal isn't just inside lines. There are some hairs um, who doesn't follow the line and who go a bit out. And that's important to remember. So and we're coming to the end of this video. Um, this is probably my last video on Kiba. Really enjoyed um, making all those videos. I hope it helps and you learn something from it. If you want me to do more videos in the future, uh, just let me know. And thank you so much for watching.